what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard so this go around we got more dumb stuff that americans have said the first one was just ugh, so crushingly stupid oh my god so and i've seen the comments oh it gets worse <laughs> i would ask why i put myself through this but some of this is it's so mind-blowing you have to hear it i think and if you're one of these people that for whatever reason you're an american that has run across my channel that you've thought about saying stuff like this or you've wondered stuff like this there's this beautiful invention it's called google and it's a search engine so before you ask stupid questions maybe google it a little bit curious what is the dumbest thing an american has ever said to you so i am italian and i go to college in the u.s i was on a phone call with my advisor to schedule my classes for spring semester okay so at some point he goes like wait you're italian I love Paris. I've been there a few years ago. And I and I told him, yeah, I love Paris too. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I've been there a few years ago too. And he goes like, I also took some French classes in high school too. And I was like, yeah, French. Yeah, I know French because I studied it at school. And he goes like, wait, you studied it at school? And I goes like, yeah, I studied it because in Italy... We don't speak French and Paris isn't in Italy. So, yeah, that's it. In Italy, we speak Italian. In the capital of Italy is Rome. And he goes like, oh my God, how could I forget? Man. What is the dumbest? Maybe your advice was just having a blonde moment. I mean, that maybe, maybe, you know, maybe that's what that was. He just had a blonde moment. thing an American has ever said to you? Excuse me, why do you speak Spanish? Well, a lot of my friends speak Spanish, so I decided to teach myself. It's not hard. You don't look Mexican. I'm not. I'm black. Wait, so you're black and you speak Spanish? And your English seems okay. Yes, black people can learn other languages. I mean, like, I guess, but, like, it doesn't make sense that you speak Spanish if you're not Mexican. What is a dumb... That's one of the things I hate about people here. Ah! They're Mexican. They're Mexican. Bro, we got so many people to immigrate here from Central and South America that it's not even funny. I mean, you got people from Nicaragua... From Guatemala, from Chile, from like all over in, in Central and South America, and no, 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 they're Mexican. Like mother, motherfucker, learn, like learn, because you, you take and call. They are very, very, very proud of where they come from. Very proud of where they come from. You, you call somebody from Colombia a Mexican, you liable to get your ass whooped hate that i hate that i wish people would take the time to be like see if they at least speak a little bit of broken english or english at all so that way they can maybe figure out what country they're from because not everybody that's latino is mexican just saying american has ever said to you all right so i had an american girl message me on instagram the other day expressing how she's keen for marriage and whatnot i wasn't interested for multiple reasons so i thought the easiest and nicest way to let her down would be to state the obvious fact that we're from different countries so i told her you're from america i'm from australia it's probably not gonna work and she had the audacity the audacity to say it's okay i can sponsor you <laughs> Sponsor, bitch, what? Do they not teach Americans that there's other countries in the world where people are living happily? Not all of us are chasing that American dream. Our kangaroos in Australia are more civilized than your people and our spiders are nicer than your people. Why would I want to move to America? Sponsor? <laughs> Sponsor. Sounds like somebody's watched too many uh, episodes of 90 Day Fiance on TLC channel. Just, just put that out there. I'm curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I'm traveling in Australia, I'm in a hostel in Brisbane, and there's this American couple. I ask them where they're from, they tell me they're from Alabama. I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing. I've <laughs> oh no, oh no, they're from Alabama. I'm from Alabama, and I love Alabama and most of the people there, but oh, two watt light bulbs. I've never been to America, and they're like, oh really? But America's so close to Jamaica, and I'm thinking, what? And I say, oh, well, I'm not from Jamaica. Oh, well, sure you are. You sound Jamaican to me. And I was like, well, I'm actually from Wales. And the girl looks at me and she starts giving me a glare. I'm like, oh, God, what have I said? Like, have I offended them in some way? They probably don't know the country of Wales actually exist. Probably thought you were talking about an animal. Just venturing a guess here. I'm like, 
oh god what have I said like have I offended them in some way and they're like you can't say you're from a fake country that is so offensive and I'm like but Wales is a real country no it's not it's an animal (laughs) yep I knew it I knew it the minute she said they looked at it like they were offended yep they thought it was the they they're thinking the animal not the country oh jesus christ again the minute she said alabama i was like oh face palm jay what what do you who do you think charles is you know queen of elizabeth's son like he's prince of wales oh yeah he's prince of the animals everybody knows that he owns all the whales in the world i'm kind of curious what is the dumbest thing in- look look if you're gonna think dumb shit don't travel Please, for the love of God, don't travel. Do not. Just don't do it. Like, do some refresher courses on, like, geography and history. And maybe take a look at some world cultures. Just saying. That he owns all the whales in the world. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Uh, there was a Haitian kid in my class, and they said, "Hey, Biko, you're from Kenya. They're from Haiti. So y'all both from Africa, right?" Someone said, "What kind of African American?" What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, yes. you're from Haiti. He's from Kenya. Y'all both from Africa. What fucking planet? What, what globe are you looking at, yo? Wow! Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh. There's a reason why the aliens only abduct people from, like, out in the fucking boonies. Other people know to run from the beam. Just saying. My family is from Africa and I was born in America. I've had someone legitimately tell me, if they didn't want to be slaves, why didn't they fight back? Uh, once people found out that the darker the color, the more heat it absorbs, it was pretty much over for me every summer because someone was going to call out, call out the fact that, oh, you're really dark, so you must be really hot right now. Uh, people ask me if I speak African a lot. No matter what the athletic accolade I get, someone is going to say it's because I'm black. No, seriously, they're just going to be like, oh, you're dark skin. Of course you're the fastest on the team. Okay. Stupidity is in no way a specifically American trait, but when Americans do it, damn, they do it well. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said? Bro, and the thing is, I've I've heard people say every type of it, it, reference to everything that he said with my own ears. So, I, I, there's so many people in the last video that said, "Oh, this this had to be staged." No, I live here. I've heard some of the stupidity. I've heard stuff exactly like what he's just said. So, yeah, no. Highly doubt most of this is, but I, I highly doubt any of this is staged. Some of it might be, but I really, 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 really doubt it. Only because I live here and I've heard the stupidity that we're capable of. Said to you, I once flew from London to Houston, and when I got to the border, the TSA agent took my British passport, my um, return ticket to London, and then proceeded to ask me where did I learn how to speak English. And when I kind of said England, she said, oh, you guys speak English out there too? I'm kind of curious. What is the dumb? That's not the first time we've seen that, but. See, some of these, I don't know. I don't know if this is, you know, I don't know if me, my reaction to this is so much if I'm flabbergasted because people are still this stupid or just because people are verbalizing the stupidity. Like I've heard some dumbass people here. I I, legit, I've heard some like, really, I, I know I've even probably said some dumbass shit, but like, this is like next level. You're not winning the family feud type stuff. Like don't even take and go on a wheel of fortune because it probably can't spell correctly. Just throwing that out there. What is thing an American has ever said to you? I live in uh, in Arizona, and uh, I graduated high school here. But one of my one of my first uh, first days in high school, this this girl sat next to me in, in English class. 
she was like, oh, where are you from? And then I tell her I'm from Denmark, and she's like, oh, isn't that in Chicago? <laughs> Curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? <laughs> isn't that in Chicago? What? Bro. Just a... Oh, my God. I would just... Sometimes it's better to stay silent, be thought of fool, than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. Do you? Oh my god, I can make a lot of these because I studied in the U.S. as a non-American for like a year. So I've heard a lot of crazy shit, but here's one of them. So I was with a group of Americans and we were discussing whether or not we had seen a celebrity in public yet. Because we were in New York and sometimes in New York you can just see like Zendaya walking around the street. And I had just gotten there so I had not seen a celebrity yet. So I was telling them how in Prague you, that doesn't happen. But then I told them that I had seen a famous Czech YouTuber walking around my neighborhood once. And this girl, this girl was like, wait, Czech YouTuber? I don't get it. And I was like, what, what do you not get? And she was like, does he make videos in Czech? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, how does he do that? YouTube is in English. And I was like, no, no, it's what? And she was like, yeah, like the videos in YouTube are English because YouTube is in English. Hello, it's for English speakers. And I was like, I had to explain to this girl that most of YouTube is not in English and that like the whole world uses YouTube in their own language. And she was still confused. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing in a... One, the genius... It, it is funny because... I would say that I'm surprised on that. And that girl's stupid. But to be honest with you at this point, I'm not... That's not the surprising part. The surprising part is that she, again, vocalized something like that. I mean... I, I don't know what it is about us Americans. We're so wrapped up in just thinking we're the center of attention. Mr. Beast is a genius because not only does he have all his channels but he's now taken and doing his channels dubbed in like spanish and portuguese and stuff like that so it... the fact that she thought all was just in english told me that just shows you how how much the she not run across videos of like russians taking a look at stuff or you know i just i don't i don't get it i don't get it i would i i am but i'm not really i'm not really surprised no just some of the stuff is just it's you have to laugh because if not you just there's there's no hope there's absolutely no hope for this country American has ever said to you. When I was a senior in high school, I was a teacher assistant for one of the U.S. history classes. And let me tell you some interesting things were said by those students. My favorite being this. We were discussing whether or not Puerto Rico should become an actual state and not just a territory of the United States. We're having a perfectly good conversation until this one girl raises her hand. And her question, her question was, but if we make Puerto Rico a state, where would we put it? A few moments go by and me and the teacher are looking each other in the eye and we're just like, oh my God. And then she kind of takes a moment and goes, oh, and we're like, thank God, like she, she figured it out. No, her response was, we could just put it where Rhode Island is. No one cares about Rhode Island. <laughs> Oh my god. Bro. Number one, we got Hawaii and Alaska. Hello. But number two, oh my god, the fact that <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ. Let's put it where Rhode Island is because no one cares about Rhode Island. Maybe the people that live in Rhode Island might take care about that. They might have something to say, some objections. Just saying, they're like, that's, like, we're a fucking jigsaw puzzle here or something. Just fit this state here and that state there. What the, f really? Come on, man. Like, oh my God, just, where are we going to put it? Oh, fuck. It's going to sit right where it's at. Thank you very much. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I'm Mexican. And I was working in Tulum. One day I was talking with this girl and she said to me, I really wanted to visit Mexico in Cinco de Mayo to see your Independence Day. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, Cinco de Mayo, your Independence Day? 
Oh, um, actually, our Independence Day is on September 16. Don't lie to me. I know South American history and I know that Mexico Independence Day, it's on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, well, actually, no, uh, Mexico's North America. <laughs> And you, you can Google that, actually, it, you can see that Mexico's Independence Day is on September 16. Oh my god, you have Google? <laughs> uh, yes, why? I mean, I'm really surprised that you can speak English and use Google. Uh, I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? That poor fella. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I was made for this. Okay, so when I first moved here, I was in sixth grade, and I was getting enrolled to this middle school, and I was meeting up with the assistant principal. And basically, uh, she asked me for, from where I was from, and I'm like, oh, I'm from Colombia, like I just moved here. And then she's like, oh my God, really? So do y'all live in, in trees and eat alligators for breakfast? Bro, I don't know whether to take and... Yo, that's low-key racist. <laughs> Like, not even going front. That is low-key, like, ignorant, racist type. Like, just because, why? Why would you think that, number one? Like, that's, that's, Colombia's a, it's a, I hope she was offended. Because that's one of the, that's appallingly, just, that's horrifically stupid. That's horrifically fucking stupid. Like, when I say that's low-key racist, that's somebody that's low-key racist, somebody who doesn't take the time to figure out, a, like, that's a projection I can guarantee you they have about other people in South America. Like, that, just, that's, that, that, that oh my God, that's next level type bullshit right there. Wow. Holy fuck. Last time I remember, I was living in a very nice house eating pan de bono with some chocolisto, but that's, that's fine. I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an oh, American girl. has ever said to you? So I was an exchange student in the US and I would randomly get asked by questions. And then one time I said I was Asian because Philippines is in Southeast Asia. And then they literally said, Philippines is in Asia? I thought it was in Europe. Girl. And then one time I was in the bus, I got asked, do you have school? Do you have farm animals in the Philippines? Do you know what an iPhone is? Girl, would you think of a, some sort of a different planet? Like, <laughs> you <laughs> Did you think I live on a different planet? Oh my God. Like, I can understand general general curiosities, but, like, I don't understand how underdeveloped some people think some places are. Like, just even places that are underdeveloped, like, they've got developed portions of the country where they have shit like that. <laughs> and even if they, that you don't live in that kind of place, you've at least nine times out of ten, probably, you know, or probably six times out of ten, at least have a working knowledge of like okay this exists and this exists because people have to go into town still for the most part in a lot of places taking get stuff even if it takes a day or two of fucking walking or riding whatever animal that you're going to ride or if you got a car and stuff like that like there's still some really underdeveloped and poverty stricken places but um like wow some of the questions What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? All right, so there we have it. The dumbest thing an American has said to you, part two. Bro, th this go around like that poor girl from Columbia. I hope she had I know you get trouble for slapping people, but she should have slapped the shit out of that teacher. Legit. And the girl <laughs> taught the people from Alabama. I'm as somebody... I live in a different state now, but somebody originally from Alabama, I'm so sorry. Just overlook them because the education system, they really don't know no better. That's all I could say. That being said, y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.